It's been more than two years since the smoke cleared from one of Colorado's biggest and costliest wildfires, the East Troublesome Fire we're talking about, burned across Grand County and into Rocky Mountain National Park. But all this time later, fire victims still fighting for the insurance money they say they're owed. Now, our investigator Katie Weiss has learned nearly all the complaints are about State Farm Insurance. The East Troublesome Fire, a human caused blaze, burning more than 193,000 acres, destroying 366 homes and 214 other structures. Labeled Colorado's second largest wildfire, firefighters fought it 16 days straight in October 2020. Don't go fast. But a quieter, longer battle continues long after the smoke cleared. Every building was destroyed, totally destroyed. The fire destroyed James White's Shadow Mountain Guest Ranch. He had hasn't considered rebuilding yet because he claims State Farm dragged its feet to pay him. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is not there for me. He says he wasn't paid a single cent for months after the fire, and then the first check he received bounced. It took quite a while for them to finally honor that check that they sent me. He finally received another partial payment just this week. They tell me because it was a commercial policy, none of my personal belongings are covered. I had no idea that I needed a homeowner's policy. I just figured I had insurance and it was it would cover whatever I had. His attorney tells me she's representing dozens of other East Troublesome victims in similar situations. This is about fairness and justice. This October, 17 new lawsuits were filed in Grant County Court against State Farm Fire and Casualty Insurance. She says every step of the way has further re-victimized those still sifting through the ashes. These are people who spent decades timely paying their premiums when the time came where they needed help not all claims were handled well. She says it can be tedious. Victims often required to list every pair of underwear they lost. I had one claim where they denied a $40 bra is being excessive. Since the fire, the state's Division of Insurance has received 62 complaints from East Troublesome victims. The state investigated and resolved 46 of those so far, 33 of which were against State Farm. At this point, it's too early to say whether that, you know, is indicative of any, any wrongdoing. Vincent Plymel is the communications commissioner with the division. It just could be a matter that they are the biggest around right now. But it is one of those things that we will take a look at as, as complaints come in. From last summer to this summer, the state helped consumers get back more than $19 million in money their insurance companies were withholding. The majority of that was for wildfire victims. Plymel encourages anyone having issues with their insurance to report it to the division right away. We are there to help consumers. Victims like White hope others will speak up if they're struggling. I just feel like they're not coming to the plate like they should. I, I don't feel they're, you know, doing the stuff that they should be doing for me. Well, State Farm issued a statement saying that it can't speak about specific claims or matters in litigation, but that the company takes pride in their customer service and they're committed to paying what they owe promptly, courteously, and efficiently. We also know that the Marshall Fire victims, too, they're struggling with this problem as well. Absolutely. The state has actually investigated and resolved 72 Marshall Fire mm -hmm. victims insurance claims, and 19 of those were against mm -hmm. State Farm more than any other insurance company. And Katie, pretty striking on your story that the state has gotten back so much money, $19 million for Colorado consumers this year. Yeah, Michaelia, uh, actually, that's a 93% increase wow. from last year, and, and that's really because the state said with all of these big wildfires that we've been seeing, there are more and more consumers who are just running into more problems with their insurance companies. Mm -hmm. And so that's why it's important that if you have issues with your insurance company, call the Division of Insurance to get some help. And I put that number for you on our website, cbscolorado.com. Katie, thank you so much for that important reporting and staying on top of it. We appreciate it. Okay.